What's up guys, so today we're going to be analyzing how Pete Davidson seduced Kim Kardashian from a recent interview that Kim gave, which really gives us a lot of insight on Pete's game. Alright, so the Pete Davidson, Kim Kardashian relationship is one that has confused a lot of people. Because a lot of people look at Pete and they're like, he's not that good looking, and he was able to get one of the most desired women on the planet. How did that happen? Now granted, Pete is very famous, he's funny, right? But again, this is not the kind of guy you expect to get Kim Kardashian. So how did he get Kim? And this is what we're going to be analyzing based on the interview that Kim recently gave. You guys are, have stalked me long enough, I'll finally answer you. So this is how it went down with Pete. On Who Lose the Kardashians, Kim reveals how her relationship with Pete came to be, following their sketch they did together on Saturday Night Live. Now, are you gonna kiss me or not? I sure am, Jasmine. When we kissed in scene, it was just a vibe. And I was like, oh shit, maybe I, maybe I just need to try something different. Yeah, but Kim says Pete didn't make it easy after the sparks flew. Pete does not come to my after party. Everyone was at my after party. Does not give me the time of day. And turns out it was Kim who- This is the key here, right? Notice, Kim Kardashian, so many men probably try to chase her, right? Even famous men, they're like, oh my God, please, please, please. Notice what she said, he did not make it easy on me. And that is what drew her in because he wasn't chasing her, right? He actually stayed away. We don't know if he did this consciously or subconsciously, right? But him actually playing hard to get is what drew her in, right? That's very attractive, especially to a woman who's used to having every single guy in the world chase her. Eventually made the first move. You just gotta roll with it. Explaining that she contacted an SNL producer to get Pete's number. I text him. I wasn't even thinking like, oh my God, I'm gonna be in a relationship with him. I was just thinking like, Heard about this BDE, need to get out there. Like I need to- Well, so she says big dick energy and that's also very interesting. So one good thing that Pete has going for him is his reputation. Ariana Grande publicly in an interview a while back said that Pete Davidson has a big dick. Whether it's true or not, doesn't matter. He has that reputation, right? And having a reputation of either having a big dick or being good fuck, is very advantageous. Now, of course, if you're not a famous guy, your reputation might be in very small in that niche community, right? But still, girls tell each other. I've had several situations where I fucked one girl and she told her friend that I was a good lay and I hooked up with a friend, right? Reputation matters, especially when you're playing on the level that Pete is. Just like jumpstart my, I was just basically DTF. But Kim's DTF attitude blossomed into a full-blown romance. So it's really lit and, and fun and crazy. And now she can't help but gush about her man. Pete is, has got to be literally the best human being I've ever met. Like the best heart. People always say like, oh, he's so funny. And it's like has to do with how funny he is. That's like fourth on my list of why I like him. I would say the perfect word to describe Pete is genuine. I mean, I think just that I never knew you can just be so. So yes, being genuine is important, but I think another element that's not being spoken is the fact that Pete is not try hard. And you can see this about him. Like he always doesn't really dress up well. He doesn't really monitor his speech. He's pretty unfiltered. He just doesn't give a shit, right? And that kind of energy is very, very attractive to women. And it's something that you guys can all start replicating. Happy. Aww. Watching TV series and going to the gym. It's a sentiment Kim echoed to ET ahead of the show's premiere. What do you love about him? What's your favorite thing about him? He's just super genuine. Yeah. And it's just really fun to just hang out and do nothing <laughs> and watch TV and just. Translation, it's awesome having a guy who doesn't put on an act, doesn't try to impress me, a guy who's just chill and doesn't give a fuck about what other people think about him, especially the kind of guys I'm used to hanging out with are guys who very much care about their image because they're in the public space, right? Pete doesn't care and that is very attractive. Just do nothing. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. What about That's all the goal, yeah. is finding someone to do nothing with. It's yeah. the best. And get this, there's an unexpected Megan Fox connection to Kim's love story. Of course, the actress is engaged to one of Pete's best friends, Machine Gun Kelly. After we got together and it was like a thing, Megan Fox texts me and is like, is this for real? Because he asked me for your number months ago. And like, I was like, dude, you have a better shot of like, me and 
MGK getting eaten by crocodiles than you ever getting her number. Like, never gonna happen. Do not ask us. Wild how these things eventually work themselves out, right? I mean, it's so exciting. And now, over six months into their relationship, it seems like things are going well for the couple, including in the intimacy department. I've heard you know, the 40s are yeah. magic. Yeah. Can't wait to be in my 40s. <laughs> No, seriously. <laughs> when I turned 40, everyone said it's the best sex of your life. Oh. And grandma kept on telling me, 40 is the best sex. And I was like, okay, huh. I'm ready. Good for grandma. And so mm. far. It's pretty interesting that her grandma's telling her that 40s is she's gonna have the best sex. Like my grandma talks to me, does not talk to me about when I'm gonna have the best sex. But okay, different relationship. <laughs> those around Kim are loving the impact Pete's having on her. I definitely noticed that Kim is happier. I think that she's so much nicer now. Thank you, Pete. I'm so into this. So what she was saying earlier is that Pete Davidson's fucking the shit after her, right? And that's true. Women are going to be happy when they're getting fucked really good, right? So uh, her friend's like, oh my God, she's so much nicer, right? Blah, blah, blah. Yes, because she's finally getting fucked right. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, the whole family is all for Kim and Pete's relationship. What do you all love about Pete? What are your favorite things about him? I love that he's kind yeah. and really, really thoughtful. Mm -hmm. He's the most thoughtful person. Thoughtful. And I love, yeah, and I love the chemistry that Kim and him have together. It's mm -hmm. really sweet. I thought you said the chemistry. I was <laughs> like, okay. Chemistry. The chemistry. The chemistry. The chemistry. And that's basically it. So let's do a very quick recap. What are the big takeaways? How did they meet? Well, they met through work, right? That's not something you can really replicate, uh, you know, because you're not a famous actor. Most likely you're not, right? But you can still meet girls through other social situations. But the big thing here is that he did not chase her, which is very attractive to a woman like Kim Kardashian, right? He played it cool. That's, that's the big thing. Now, in terms of them getting together, we don't know the exact details of what their first date was like, uh, but you can bet that sex was a big part of it, right? So he fucked the shit out of her, and that is why she's staying around. The fact that he fucks her really well, he's chill, he doesn't give a fuck, right? Which again, is probably a big relief coming after Kanye, right? And he just doesn't give a fuck about what other people think about him. He can just relax, at ease, and then she feels at ease with him. So again, this is, now you can see how Pete Davidson, one, hooked up with Kim, more or less, and two, how he's able to keep her around. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable and shows that you have a big dick like Pete by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and clicking the bell for notification. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.